Body cam footage has emerged showing the arrest of a suspect who was high on methamphetamine and died after struggling with police. Renal Prasad, 24, was arrested on June 2 in Santa Ana, California, and fell unconscious as eight officers attempted to restrain him. He was declared brain dead 11 days later. A report last month from the Orange County District Attorney's Office cleared the police of any wrongdoing, finding that the officers did not act with malice nor neglect their duty to get Prasad medical care as soon as reasonably possible. Prasad's cause of death was found to be a heart attack due to acute drug intoxication. The incident unfolded at about 2.01 p.m. when a woman called 911 to report a man running back and forth in the middle of the street and approaching people acting strangely. Share this article Share the officers arrived at the scene and made contact with Prasad as he walked in the middle of the street, the footage shows. Prasad had a history of arrests and convictions on domestic violence and drug charges, records show. Between January and July of 2016, he was arrested six times in Southern California for being under the influence of meth. Body cam footage shows Santa Ana police officers Joshua Park and Kevin Bell approach Prasad, who appears dazed but cooperative at first. At the officer's urging, he sits on the curb, where they handcuff him and search him for any weapons. I'm scared, don't hurt me please, Prasad blurts out as they search him. When Bell explains they are just checking for weapons, Prasad replies I have no weapons, please don't hurt me please. The officers ask Prasad if he has recently used meth, which he denies at first. They tell him that he appears to be under the influence of the drug, however, and place him in the back of Park's patrol car. When they ask him again about the drug, he says he has used it, but refuses to say when. At 2.35 p.m., handcuffed and alone in the back seat of the car, Prasad abruptly screams out, ouch, what the f man Prasad flails in the back of the car wildly as Park tells him to calm down. After a minute of wild thrashing, Prasad abruptly stops. The officers discover Prasad had an open warrant for violating an order of protection and transported him to the detention center. During the two minute trip, though not caught directly on video, Prasad bashes his head against the plexiglass and steel divider in the car, opening a cut on his forehead. At the detention center, Park and Bell pull Prasad from the car and, aware of his violent response in the car, decide to hobble his feet. Prasad lies calmly on the ground for a second, but then begins screaming and flailing once again. Hobbles are placed on Prasad, as well as a spit hood. The struggle continues as multiple officers join in to help subdue Prasad and a registered nurse from the detention center stands by to assist once he is under control. Officers bring out a restraint chair, and after several minutes of struggling, Prasad is secured in it. Almost as soon as he is secured, Prasad becomes unresponsive. The nurse asks if he can hear him, and Prasad says nothing. The officers wheel him into the shade. The nurse check for a pulse, and not finding one, directs the officers to remove Prasad from the restraint chair. Police and the nurse begin administering aid, and paramedics arrive minutes later. After receiving drugs, Prasad's circulation restarted at 3.10 p.m. roughly 19 minutes after his pulse stopped. At the hospital, Prasad was placed on a ventilator, but did not recover consciousness. He was declared brain dead on June 13, 
and taken off of live support. A an autopsy found no internal or external trauma other than the superficial cut on Prasad's forehead and determined that he died of a heart attack brought on by acute drug intoxication. Tests found that he had meth, marijuana and opiates in his systems at the time of his death. A family member said of Prasad that he was a happy young man, full of life and a devoted father to his two-year-old baby girl.